Hey guys, welcome to the London vlog. I feel like it's been a minute since our last London vlog because we've just been traveling so much. We got back from Mallorca yesterday. That's why I look very tanned. This weekend, today, tomorrow, we're gonna spend the time kind of doing a reset, get back into work mode. We haven't got any more holiday trips planned. We've got a couple of press trips, but no more like holiday beach vacations. I'm also trying to be vegetarian this whole month and also try and be vegan where I can. So if there's a dairy alternative, I'll have that. True made a vegan pasta today, which was very nice. It was like with spinach, this other vegetable, vegan cheeses. I think he vlogged it, so you would have probably would have seen it already. Right now I am going to unbox some packages because I've accumulated quite a few packages from when I've been away for like six days. That's one thing I love about this job is when I come home from any trip or like a weekend away, I come back to packages and it just feels like Christmas. First, I already unboxed this before I went on holiday. This is the new Prada perfume, which I absolutely love. It's this really sweet florally scent. I just sprayed some now and I love the bottle and the shape. And this is what I'm wearing today. This is my scent of the day. Should we go small to large? Yeah, let's do that, that makes sense. Chronological order. That's not chronological. <laughs> We're gonna go in size order. So the first one, I know exactly what's in here. This is the smallest package. This is my Skin In Me Serum. You do a consultation and they provide you with this serum that has been made for you and your skin concerns. And my skin has been feeling really good with this. So that's the first one. I knew exactly what that was. This one, I kind of squealed a little bit when I walked through the door and saw this because I can see a big Dior written on the box. So. I'm very excited to see what this is. Oh wow! Yeah. This is what was in the box. Look at these little flowers. Oh, that is so pretty. I have two flowers in here. So this is the new J'adore Parfum. Parfum and perfume. Oh, and you can put it on your skin or hair because obviously you don't have alcohol, which I love because Whenever I spray perfume, I always want to spray it on my hair. This is the bottle. It looks very fancy. If I knew it was perfume, I wouldn't have sprayed the Prada one. Let's put it in here. It just smells like really fresh and clean. I'll let you guys know um, about the staying power with this one because I'm intrigued to see how long this one actually lasts. Thanks to you all for that. I'm really happy. The next one is from L'Oreal, but I have no idea what the products are because L'Oreal are like the mother of a lot of brands. This is what I mean, like it feels like Christmas because you have no idea what's in here. Ah, oh, okay, so this is the box and it's from Redken, so the shampoo hair care brand. This one is a treatment, this one is a shampoo, this is a conditioner, and then this is a leave-in treatment. I'm very excited to try this. I don't think I've tried Redken products before, but I've heard very good things. They're kind of like the brand that you see in the hairdressers. Oh, and then the last one, which is the biggest one of them all. I need to get up and get it. Okay guys, can you see this corner of this box? Oh, here you can. I'm gonna have to pick the camera up from the tripod and show you this box. This is the last box and the biggest one of them all and the one that I'm most excited about. It's from Emma Sleep and what's inside here is Minor True's new mattress. It's a double mattress. It's the Emma mattress. But for me, sleep is one of those things that I really kind of want to invest in. I always buy really good bed sheets, linens, like I want to have the best sleep that I can. Recently, I've been having like some back problems. Like I feel like I haven't been having the best sleep when I've been coming home and I've been really enjoying staying at hotels. And then when I come back, I feel like a bit of discomfort. So we've been looking at getting a new mattress. When you add up the hours of sleep you sleep, that it's like it marks for so many years. So I feel like it's one of those things that you should really kind of invest in a good one for yourself. So we were looking for new mattresses. Around the same time, Emma Sleep reached out to us, which was perfect timing. We already knew about Emma Sleep. It's the UK's most awarded mattress, which is a lot and says a lot for a mattress. I'm partnering with them on this video and I'm so excited about it because I love sleep and I just can't wait to try this mattress. And tonight we're gonna sleep on it. And tomorrow morning, I'm gonna let you guys know how it goes. I've heard really, really good things about this. They believe so much in their mattress that they will allow you to try this mattress for up to 200 days. And if after 200 days you decide that it's not a good mattress or you're not really liking it, they will come and collect your mattress from you and refund you the amount, which I think says a lot and obviously means that they believe in their mattress a lot. So I'm really excited to try this one out. I do have a discount code as I'm working with them. I'm going to leave all the information in the description box down below. They already have discounts running on their site and if you use the link 
or my code in the description box you can actually get further discounts on top of that so if you are looking for a new mattress or you're experiencing kind of problems with your current mattress and you want to try something new maybe this could be for you i just want to mention the box did not come like this it's my cat so obviously while i've been in mallorca this box has been sitting in the hallway and i have two cats and one cat specifically has been using this as a scratch post fortunately they haven't gone through to the actual mattress because it's protected but this is what you're seeing is the result of my cats who have been trying to access this box i'm going to actually unbox it here and then get to take it up for me let's see if i'm strong enough i went to the gym today i had to do the arms as well okay i think i might need some assistance from true with this one okay wait, yeah i just need you to hold the box no, why don't you hold it? No, because I want to put it out. I did it, guys. Oh, what's that? What's that? I think they gave this has a blade. Um, don't touch your finger. To cut the plastic off this. And obviously, you don't want to go in with scissors to cut that. Why? Because you could puncture oh, the mattress. That's so clever. So this is like anti-puncture, <laughs> puncture-proof way of cutting. <laughs> I love it, like, this is an anti puncture way of cutting. That's actually really good though. We're gonna go upstairs now and bring you guys along. Don't turn it, don't turn it. Okay, okay. And we'll come back and we'll show you how much bigger it gets. And then we should do the jump to us. <laughs> It feels good though already. So as I mentioned, I'm going on this whole like restart, healthy restart. I'm trying to eat better and like snack on better things. So I love crisps so much. And I don't think there's anything wrong with having crisps, but I think it's all about balance. And I am not a great person for balance. Like I will eat a whole packet of those big share packet crisps and I don't share it. I'm gonna cut up some carrots and hummus, take it upstairs. And then I'm gonna do a come shopping with me for autumn winter. So I'm gonna do some online shopping and show you guys how I pick out new things for autumn winter. Okay, so this is the hummus that we have. And um, this was the only nice one that I saw in m and Normally I go for the, um, it's like this hummus brand. It's like a Mediterranean chabra, I don't know. It's got like a green lid. That's my favorite hummus. But this is an extra smooth hummus. So I think it'll be nice. And then some carrots, which I'm gonna wash and chop up now. I need to shower. Yeah, you do. It's nice, isn't it? The mm -hmm. hummus. Mm -hmm. it tastes like authentic. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first is I like to make a list of things that I want so then at least I'm not aimlessly shopping. I do have a more specific wish list in the sense of like certain products I want, but that's more luxury. And actually by now, I think my autumn winter luxury wish list video would have been out. Um, but these are kind of more my basics that I want to get and like good quality ones. So I'm making a list autumn winter staples to buy. So then when I'm shopping, I know exactly what I need to search for and what I need to get. So I don't kind of move away from the task at hand and start getting other things. Although when you're shopping online, that's always the case. Like something else will pop up that you think you need. But what I do know I want first is an A-line black mini skirt in a wool material. So kind of like a really nice thick structured skirt. I wear mini skirts a lot come autumn winter. I think they're the perfect kind of layering piece. I also really want a wool blazer. I'm kind of looking for pieces of knitwear in a bright color that I can incorporate into this wardrobe I already have. I've really seen one on Arquette that I really like, a blue knitwear sweater. I also want black knee high boots with a heel because last year I bought the totem ones um, and I love them, but they're flat and I feel like for some outfits you need a heel. I think I want a stiletto heel, not a block heel, but it depends. I feel like it depends on the boot because certain boots, the shape, requires a block heel or a stiletto so that one i'm not too strict on but i do know i want black knee-high boots with a heel i also really want like a no logo big bag big bags are in and i'm really enjoying wearing big bags at the moment so i really want like a big bag that i can wear over my shoulder i feel like i've seen someone mango and oh that reminded me mango because it reminded me because i said mango 
there's this leather jacket I saw in a manga that I really like. So a leather jacket is actually on my list because I don't actually have any leather jackets in my wardrobe. And I think leather jackets are going to be so big this autumn winter and I think they're also a really great layering piece and you can dress them up and down so I want to see if we can find a nice leather jacket. I also want black jeans and blue jeans because I'm a jean girl now and I want a casual pair of kind of high-waisted tapered jeans that I can wear with flats because on my autumn winter wish list are the Chanel ballet flats and I need to get jeans that I can wear with those flats. So these are kind of the key pieces that I want and I'll add to the list when I think of some but for now this is kind of what I'm going to focus my search on online. I'm going to look for things and kind of gather up what I found and then purchase what I actually like. Okay so it didn't actually take me too long and that's the great thing about making a list and typing in specifically what you're searching for because you can be really quick and really thorough. So for the mini skirt, I found this one. This was the best one that I found but it's actually in dark blue, like a navy blue. But it kind of looks black and also I think navy blue is a really nice colour. Then we had the wool blazer which I actually didn't find any that I like so far. So I think I'm waiting for it to get colder because I want a thick blazer whereas right now what I'm finding are the thin wool blazers um and also i feel like i probably want to have a look at some vintage stores for those pieces or online on ebay because that's where you find the best blazers and they're normally like really thick and cozy so that one i'm still on the hunt for then i was looking for colorful knitwear i absolutely love this one from arquette this green color i feel like it's a nice muted green it's not like so bright but it's still a color and i think this will work really nicely with leather like a leather mini skirt a leather midi skirt i think it'll look really good and you can obviously lay with this piece i also think it'll be nice if you tie it over your shoulders because you kind of have that pop of color but it's not taking over the whole outfit so you could be wearing like a neutral outfit and then tie this over the top and then this is the blue one i saw but then i realized it's a sweatshirt so it's a bit more of a casual one but i don't think that's a bad thing because a sweatshirt is always good for like if you're wearing with jeans and i'm obsessed with color guys this is possibly my new favorite color like green is always my ultimate favorite color but i think this is coming second to like a color that i'm really loving at the moment i feel like i want to go into store and see what this one looks like because i don't want it to be too casual i want to be able to kind of dress it up and then still on the theme of my favorite blue um i saw this one in cos this is a mohair jumper and i think this is so so nice i love how they've styled it i don't know if it's a dress or a skirt underneath but i love that kind of effortless laid back just put the jumper on top um styling and i also love how it's an all black outfit and then you've got that blue and i think those colors work really well together and i just love the oversized fit of it and you can also tuck it in slightly into jeans and then you can obviously wear it just untucked which is a really nice effortless look knee-high boots there's a couple I found. So the first one are these Attico ones. And I actually think these were on my wish list last year. Like I really, really like these boots. I love how they're kind of wide at the top. I love the heel shape. I love the pointiness. They're not too pointy. They're like a nice pointiness. I also love this area on the heel where you can see it's like almost like a triangle. I feel like that would possibly make it a bit more comfortable. I also love the look of that kind of relaxed leather. It doesn't look stiff. It looks soft. Um, so this is high on my wish list, but it is £930, um, so I do need to think about that one a bit more and maybe try it on if they have it in store. I also found these from Warehouse, leather boots, and they're £101.40 on sale. All sizes are in stock, um, and western boots are, I feel like, a big trend this autumn winter. Like, we're going to see so many of these kind of boots. Hermes have released their own version of these cowboy style boots but I also feel like you have to be careful with the ones you get because often certain brands like obviously push them out and they can look really cheap but I thought these looked really premium I love how clean looking they look they're all black which I love um, you've got that kind of squared off toe but it's not too squarish you've got that subtle detail of the western style cowboy boots and then this top bit here I think these are really nice I might actually order these and see how they look because I'm looking for a pair of cowboy boots. I was looking at the Hermes ones, but I just think for how much I'm going to wear them, and they possibly, like, they could be a trend just for this year and then next year they're out. So I don't want to spend too much. Mango, the website is down. I really want to show you the leather jacket that I have my eyes on. So I'm going to have to insert like a screenshot when the website comes back up. But I have this leather jacket on my wish list, although it's not real leather. So that's the only thing that's putting me off buying it. But I, would, I love the shape of it like that 
oversized sleeves. I will get it if I can't find like an alternative in real leather because preferably I want to get one in real leather just because it will last longer and it will just wear better. But I might have to pull the trigger and get this one from Mango if I can't find one in a similar shape. And then for jeans, I found these ones from A Gold. I think that's how you pronounce it, A Gold. Um, they're like a really popular jean brand because I know they do a lot of jeans and I like this high rise tapered jean look. Um, and the thing I love about Netta Porter is that you have the videos, so I always love to watch the videos because you can see the movement of the jeans and see what they actually look like once you wear them. My only concern with this is that they do look a bit cropped and I did want them slightly longer because the model, how tall is she? Oh, she's 5'11", okay. She's 5'11", I'm like 5'9", so actually that could be a good fit. And then these, I love, they're from Totem. I love this dark denim colour. This is like the perfect autumn winter denim colour. Some of the sizes have sold out completely and a lot of the sizes are low stock so I might have to buy these pretty quick because I feel like these will sell out. I don't like how they've styled it with the sandals and the tank top. I would style it with like a beige jumper, slightly half tucked in, some Chanel ballet flats, the beige with the black toe cap and then a black Chanel bag or a black, like a big black bag. I think that would look so cool. That was most of the things on my list and now I'm going to keep an eye on these and kind of see if anything else pops up but for certain pieces for example these jeans I think I might just have to purchase them because if they get sold out they probably won't come in until we're in spring summer so yeah I think this is a really nice way to kind of shop I much prefer online shopping now compared to going in store I feel like I find a lot more uh, when I'm online shopping and it's also easier to narrow down your search. I hope that was helpful for you guys. I will leave a link to all the pieces that I've picked out. Okay guys, so the mattress, as you can see, has actually formed compared to what it was. And it looks very squishy. True, do you want to do a test? Yes. Jump test, go on. I'm not going to jump because... <laughs> oh, you don't want to break them? <laughs> He's showered, guys, don't worry. He has showered since coming back from the gym. Yeah, it's very soft. Very can, I, can I do a test? Some of it has, it's like fits this mattress, um, it fits our bed frame perfectly, so it's like half of it is, not half of it, but some of it is actually sat into the bed. <laughs> That's really bad. We do have like two minutes of us laying here, no talking. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome to the next morning. As promised, I thought I would give you guys an update on the mattress. I really had an amazing sleep last night. I was saying to True how it's crazy that you don't realize a difference until you make that change. So for ages I was complaining about the mattress and how I've had discomfort. And then actually making the change, you see such a difference. I feel like for me personally, it's just made my sleep like it was so easy to fall asleep in the morning true had to get up and get me out of bed because i didn't want to leave the bed it's like firm but really soft at the same time it's like the perfect texture for me um so i'm gonna leave a link for you guys if like me you're struggling with the sleep you need a new mattress or you just want to change i would highly recommend emma sleep mattress they have discounts running and then if you use my link you can get additional discounts on top of the already discounts which is amazing so Link down below, let me know if you do if you do go for it because we can all talk about, we can make a little community about sleep. <laughs> We're gonna head off to Selfridges now because I wanna do some shopping and we wanna get some lunch and it's just a really nice day outside. It's around 24 degrees and we're gonna cardigan because I'm already in that autumn mood. Let me quickly show you what I'm wearing. We're gonna ignore the mess in the background guys. I was filming a sit down video earlier so this is all my equipment and random stuff, but we're gonna focus on the outfits. So these pants actually just came in from Ness Porter. They're from the Frankie shop and I really like them. So they're like these tailored pants, but with the cargo detail. So you can see they've got these like cargo style pockets and I really like them. I feel like they're the perfect combination of casual, but still chic and tailored. I've paired them with my Irma ship braid because we're pre-fall. So we're not fully in a fall slash autumn. 
Um, it's 24 degrees outside, so I can wear my ship braids with these pants. I've got this totem tank top on, which I really love the cut of. This tank top I think is around 70 pounds, but I think it's so worth it because all my other tank tops I have don't give me the same really flattering cut. Underneath I'm wearing my pasties that I normally wear, I'll link them down below. And then my gorgeous Kate cardigan, she's back out for autumn. Although actually I think today is too warm to wear this, but I'm being optimistic. <laughs> I'm just really excited for autumn, so I'm wearing her, but to be fair, I'll probably have to take her off. And then I've got my Hermes Birkin 35 because I think it just fits in really well. Oh, guys, new purchase. I was totally influenced by TikTokers <laughs> to get the new AirPod, AirPods, the AirPods Max by Apple. I went for the white color. I love them. I really love them. I'm not a headphone gal, but I love how they look and I took them on the trip. Let me put the camera down, let me put them on quickly. So these are the headphones, I really love them. I wore them when we were uh, traveling to Mallorca and they're the best because I fell asleep so quick and I was listening to music. I went for the white option and yeah, I was totally influenced by TikTokers. I think I just got makeup on them. They were so clean because I was wearing them without makeup and now I put it on to show you guys and there's makeup. But yeah, I'm gonna take these with me. So guys, we're in the car and me and Tru were just talking. I thought I would mention this to the vlog as well because it's actually quite interesting. So I think at the beginning of the vlog, I was saying how me and Tru are trying to be vegetarian for the month. Um, and then also like switch, we're not being vegan because I think that's too much of a commitment, but we are like, where there are dairy alternatives, we are making those switches. But I think we did that anyway. Like we don't drink milk, but we do love our cheese. Because yesterday I made, <laughs> this is awesome. I made um, pasta and I used the vegan cheese and I was um, it was from m and and I was grating it and it stank so bad like I literally felt physically sick so I had to throw that out and use real cheese but we have been vegetarian now and um, I say now it's only been like I say three, three to four days yeah we'd been speaking about becoming vegetarian and then like try and get for a month and I was saying to true like I don't know if this is just a coincidence or if it is this but like since being vegetarian even for a short about short space of time um sorry for the changing lights guys quite sunny um i've taken the cardigan off as you can see um i'm so off topic <laughs> so i was saying true like i really feel like i have more energy and my mind feels a lot clearer and it's so weird but i just feel like someone's cleared up my mind like it just feels really free and fresh and i have so much more energy and i feel a lot happier um I feel the same. And then I was saying to Joe, I, like, I don't wow. know if it's a coincidence, what's happening. And I don't think that's a coincidence. Because he's be feeling the same. Yeah. But yeah, he was saying he felt the same. And I was like, oh, okay. And Truth's normally one of those skeptical people that, oh no, it's just a coincidence. The amount of work that we got done this weekend. Yeah, we had to film three campaigns. And we were full of energy. And I've been cooking for True. And normally, like, True is the chef in this relationship. He's the one who makes our dinner and breakfasts. And I've been volunteering to make food. Like, I just feel really, like, full of energy and positive we're not being forceful about it if we want to eat meat we will we're making an effort conscious effort to eat less meat yeah and be more veg vegetarian and sometimes vegan if there's an option yeah. for that if you are interested and you want to try it i was saying to my sister as well it's quite easy it's not like i've been oh i feel like i'm on a diet and i'm missing out on anything i actually haven't thought about it so i would recommend trying it because i feel like it's really given me like extra energy i feel happier my mind feels clear true saying the same so it's yeah. So now we're deciding what to eat in Selfridges. Yeah. That is vegetarian. Because normally we'd go for ramen or yeah. the jack chicken. Jack chicken, yeah. I know. Oh, that jack chicken is so good. If any of you guys are vegan or vegetarian, comment down below like what you eat for protein because that's what we're struggling yeah. with. I might get like a protein, a vegan protein powder. Mm. Like pea protein, or I, I have no idea. Yeah, same. Because yeah. Because even when I was eating meat, I still wasn't eating enough protein. So I think now my protein is going to be even lower, and yeah, it's, it's important struggle. that I eat enough protein. So yeah, let us know what we can have for protein. I know things like tofu. Um, and tofu. That's it. That's tempeh. it tofu. <laughs> tofu, tempeh, like those substitutes. But are there any other things that are like natural, so not processed? Because obviously tofu is processed. So anything that's not processed that we could have. Yeah, that's gonna be very difficult. I'm sure there's something out there. Beans and peas. Yeah. Legumes. Anyway, we'll see you guys in Selfridges and we'll keep you updated on what we do manage to eat on our vegetarian quest. <laughs> Raw basil. But what's a raw basil custard?
pasta. What does that mean? I have no idea. So hungry. I'm just like everything. Oh. Everything. Everything sounds so good. Let's get this with the garlic. For what? Because I just want it. This is what we kept having in Italy and I didn't know what it was. They're called caper berries. Remember we kept having ah. that and I didn't know what it was. So guys, we got the juicy jerk. They have vegan options. So there's, this is a vegan tempeh juicy jerk. True and I got the same thing. And it smells really good. I'm really excited to try it. We're gonna do like a vegan muk, vegan muk, <laughs> vegan muk. <laughs> we'll do a vegetarian mukbang of us trying this for the first time. We're just driving somewhere quiet to eat it because where we were parked is like literally on Oxford Street. Style and looks so nice. Yeah, it does actually. It was on Oxford Street and we're a bit shy because yeah. <laughs> we want people to see us eat. So we're gonna drive to somewhere quiet and then we're gonna eat. I'm so excited. Are you excited, True? I'm so hungry. I really hope I don't get any on my own. My new trousers or my white top. Guys, Juicy Jack is so good, this place in South Bridges. Um, I discovered it because of Melissa's wardrobe. I think she put most people on to Juicy Jack. It's so as good. soon as she posted it, we tried it and we're addicted to it. So they use tempeh. What's tempeh made out of? Tempeh? Is that not soy? Probably. So we have plant. So it's a wrap with um, tempeh and then you can choose the two fillings. So we both got plantain and coleslaw and the jerk mayo. And then got some drinks as well. Just, I don't really like to drink water when I'm out. <laughs> oh. So I get like flavored stuff. So I have one cold pressed drink um, with apple, orange, turmeric, lemon. And then one water kefir. Oh. Which is like fermented water. It's basically water. How can you make water kefir? Kefir is like a bacteria. Oh, I thought it came from yeast milk. Thing or something. Mm. This is what it looks like, the chicken. It's not bad. It's flavour. Yeah. <laughs> it's flavour. It's like the texture is different because it's a bit more like rubbery or like chip. Bouncier. Bouncy, yeah. It's like bouncy, but the flavors like it's marinated in. Mm. It's very. Mm, this is good. I think you can't go wrong if you put plantain and coleslaw in a wrap. Mm. If you get this, guys, you have to get the plantain and coleslaw because mm -hmm. it just makes the wrap like juicy. Mm. I'll get this again. Mm -hmm. I feel like nowadays it's so easy to be, or so much easier to be vegan or vegetarian because there's so many options like mm. look how we were able to get this yeah it's amazing i think long term we'll see how the month goes mm. but long term say we decide after a month not to be fully vegetarian or vegan i'll still do like three to four days yeah. a week where i'm not eating meat yeah it actually forces you to try new things because we would never try this mm. it's actually really good also recently when i've been having things with meat Halfway through it, I've, I already put myself off because I think about how it's a live animal and I'm like, oh, I can't eat anymore. Especially with meat and like burgers. If I was eating a burger, I'd be like, oh my God, this is actually a cow. And then I like talk myself out of eating it. Whereas this is just like guilt free. Yeah, what's temp? I'm trying to Google what's tempeh. Isn't it? <laughs> I was about to take a bite. <laughs> it's flour. People make That's it with flour. Oh, isn't it the same? Fermented soybean. Hmm. Oh. I'm going to try the <clears throat> water kick here. I don't even shake it. No, you don't. It's fizzy. Mm. You do that. Oh. Okay, you definitely don't shake it. I think that's from walking. That's from us walking. <laughs> Look at that. That's the tempeh. And the plantain they use is so nice. Do you guys say plantain or plantain? I say plantain. I say plantain. But I know there's a whole debate on it. Oh, it just tastes like kombucha. And I bought that random jar of garlic, guys. Because <laughs> I saw it, I haven't seen pickled garlic in a long time and I love it. I literally will just get it as a snack to eat the pickled garlic. Because you haven't been shopping in a long time, like food shop. Yeah, we haven't. I'm so happy. This is so tasty. I just love good food. I'm gonna finish this off and then we'll catch you. We might go back into Selfridges because we did actually get to do shopping. We went and got food straight away. We went straight to get food. And I do want to have a look at some stuff, so we might go back in. Two seconds later. <laughs> we literally decided that we're not going to go to Selfridges because I think we're quite full and we just want to go home. We went to Selfridges just to get the juicy jerk. No, it was worth it. It was worth it. I'm very happy. Now we're going to go home and Niri's mum's cooked some food. Yeah, for dinner. 
Amazing. She made, my mum's made some, um, a small, when we left the house, it smelled amazing. She's made like vegetarian dishes. She made me my favorite aubergine dish. Also my best friend Jasmine's favorite dish. It's like this aubergine, like these baby aubergines and she cooks them in this tomato sauce. Oh, so good. In, like, she a told curry. you not to eat anything before. No, she said have something light. <laughs> no, but I'm gonna, we're gonna have a late dinner. Okay. But she's like she's made me loads of vegetarian dishes or us vegetarian dishes because we're vegetarian So I'm excited to go home and try I'm that stuffed. Yeah, but by the time we get home and you do a bit of editing a bit of work, you'll build up the appetite mm -hmm. It's like this is a late lunch Okay, and then we have a late dinner Okay guys, we hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye